what's up guys we're almost done with section two uh, with the sorry chapter number two we're in section three which is the almost the last block but this is a very important block because we're going to see how to arrange reactors so let's suppose we have different existing reactors in the plant we have different tanks there and so on and we would like to arrange them in a order that maximizes our production or com conversion rate so let's say we have a small one a big one and then we have another one and another one and probably you have no idea you will just do it random or maybe uh, you will have a random let's say you will do it by size so you will do it by clean or you will do it by easy to operate or by location or I don't know but there is a logic thing to do here and um, yes the, the question will be always shall I place a PFR and a PFR or a CSTR with a CSTR or a CSTR with a PFR look how I change the orders or a PFR with a CSTR now the, the fun starts here because you already know how to calculate the volume for each of them and you know when to use each one of them so this is going to be very very easy now since we are going to use multiple units we need to set the difference between single pass conversion and global conversion single pass, com single pass conversion is the conversion of one unit so if I tell you this reactor whatever you get in always converts 50% that's single pass conversion and if your system is only this, that's also your global conversion. But what will happen, you have a set of two reactors. And I tell you, this reactor has always, let's say it's 100, has always an input of 50%. And then 50 goes away. And then I tell you, this reactor has also 50% rate. But you don't have 100, now you have 50, so it goes away, 25 so the individual ones are 50 or the single pass conversions but the global system is transforming 100 into 25 only so the global will be 75 percent conversion so hopefully you get the idea of what's the difference because it's kind of easy look how the definition of single place is most reacted in that reactor and the molds you fed to that reactor and now the global conversion will be moles reacted so far divided by the moles fed to the first reactor so that's very interesting we are referring to the first reactor so of course you, if you get these 50 moles and these 25 moles you will get the 50 but if you get these 100 moles versus these 25 moles you will get these 75 so the thing here is where are you referencing your number are you referencing on the inlet of the reactor or are you referencing in the inlet of the process and one stupid thing to do is for example you have three the most stupid thing I will see is that you are referencing I don't know this outlet with this inlet so it absolutely has no sense either you reference it to the first or to the inlet of that reactor not to an intermediate random stream here and I think yeah, let me break the video. We're going to do the CSTR in series, but I want to take more time, so see you in the next video. What's up, guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. 
My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.